My name is Dr. Elizabeth Ryan. I am the Associate Dean and Director for the Northwest Gary Campus, and it is my honor and privilege to extend congratulations on behalf of all of the Regional Medical Campus Deans. The Regional Campus Deans, faculty and staff are so proud of the class of 2020. Your dedication to your medical training during these uncertain times is commendable and will serve you well as you embark on your careers. This class started medical school with a new curriculum and ended with COVID-19 pandemic. There are so many firsts for this class and you have risen to every challenge. Each one of you has made a unique contribution to patient care, science, service, medical education, and more. We hope you will consider Indiana University School of Medicine home. And for those of you who have studied at regional campuses, please come back and visit us. We are proud to have served as your instructors and mentors and we hope you will return to help us develop the next generation of learners. You have become family. We are very interested in following your careers. Congratulations from all of the regional campus deans. We wish you well as you continue trailblazing medicine. Thank you. Good morning. I'm Dr. Paul Wallach, Executive Associate Dean for Educational Affairs and Institutional Improvement for Indiana University School of Medicine. On behalf of our faculty and staff, I want to welcome all of you, our graduates, families, and friends, to the commencement ceremony for the Class of 2020, albeit virtually, and offer our heartfelt congratulations. Class of 2020, the last two months have been unprecedented, and the resiliency you have all shown in the face of the COVID-19 pandemic has inspired us and will serve you well in your careers. To our family and friends, we at IU School of Medicine want to express our deep gratitude for all you have done for the class of 2020, especially during this season of uncertainty. Some time ago, you all entered the institution with hearts and minds ready to begin your fields of study. You have all devoted yourselves to the study of medicine, healthcare, and science. You have all shown care for others, concern for communities, and commitment to healing in its broadest sense. 
In addition to the task of successfully navigating a challenging curriculum, members of this class have volunteered locally and internationally. They have worked to feed the hungry and comfort those in need. More than half have participated in substantive research. All have provided care for those who are ill and offered their own contribution to the healing of others. Each has continued to advance their own learning, fine tune skills, and gain greater understanding of their roles as physicians, healthcare providers, and scientists. Each one of you recognize that learning is a lifelong enterprise, and you have expressed commitment to that endeavor. Medical graduates will continue with residencies in 35 states and in 31 specialties or disciplines. None of the students present could have made it to this point without help. In addition to the family and friends, for our graduates from clinical programs, we owe a debt of gratitude to the patients who permitted you to provide care while learning medicine. Please remember the patients who permitted you into their lives, into their intimate spaces. As well, you have all been fortunate to have devoted faculty who have taught, mentored, encouraged, and supported you. Please remember to thank the faculty who taught you. Class of 2020, IU School of Medicine is proud of you. It is our hope you remain close, connected, and care about your medical school and each other as you continue your careers. As you graduate, you join generations of alumni who are leaders in their communities and innovators in the field of medicine and biomedical research. I have the utmost confidence you will further their tradition of excellence in every pursuit, and you will do so with the singular spirit of optimism that has long defined our School of Medicine family. And now, it is my pleasure to introduce Dr. Jay Hess, Dean of the School of Medicine and IU's Executive Vice President for University Clinical Affairs. Since joining IU School of Medicine in 2013 as our 10th Dean, Dr. Hess has been a transformative leader. During his tenure, he has overseen an increase in funding from the National Institutes of Health with record funding growth with a single year increase of $40 million to a total of 189 million and a rank of 28th in the country and 14th among public medical schools. Dean Hess has led the school through a comprehensive curriculum reform and successful reaccreditation and strengthened our faculty practice plan and clinical partnerships. Dean Hess earned his medical and doctorate degrees from the Johns Hopkins University School of Medicine and completed residency training in anatomic pathology and fellowships in hematopathology and surgical pathology at the Brigham and Women's Hospital. He holds a certificate in business administration from the Wharton School of the University of Pennsylvania and a master's degree in health services administration from the University of Michigan School of Public Health. He has held faculty positions at Washington University School of Medicine and the University of Pennsylvania and served for eight years as chair of the Department of Pathology at the University of Michigan. As both a physician and scientist himself, Dean Hess is driven to improve care for our patients and communities and he is guided by a commitment to transform health in Indiana and around the world. Please join me in welcoming Dean J. Hess. On behalf of our faculty and staff, I want to welcome all of you, our students, 
families, friends, and invited guests to the commencement ceremony for the class of 2020. It goes without saying that this has been a very challenging year for all of us. We know your last year at the School of Medicine didn't turn out the way you expected. And I am personally disappointed that I didn't get the chance to congratulate each of you in person. I'd like to take a moment to do that now. Whether you've spent your time pursuing a master's degree or an MD or a PhD or some combination of these, I've had the privilege of watching you develop into professionals over the last several years, but particularly during this pandemic. I want you all to know how incredibly grateful I am for the way that you have stepped up for the School of Medicine and for our community. You have adapted to online classes and the disruption of research and clinical rotations with grace and resiliency. You have looked for ways to help. 126 members of the class of 2020 graduated early many joining the front lines of the COVID response, joining a number of healthcare systems before beginning your residencies. You organized Get PPE Indiana to collect money and donations for PPE for our frontline healthcare providers. Research labs across IU School of Medicine also donated boxes of gloves, masks, shields, goggles, and more to protect our clinical partners. And some of you have redirected your research to advance scientific progress towards conquering COVID-19. I could not be more proud of you individually and as a class. Regardless of where you're headed next, each one of you is a success story. You understandably have concerns about what lies ahead but you can be confident that the IU School of Medicine has prepared you well. You are going to be entering an era where good medical care, public health, and biomedical research have never been more important. The work that you do is meaningful and important. Many are depending on you during this pandemic, which is far from over. All of us will be depending on your leadership during the challenges yet to come. I hope you will always remember how important the work that you do is and know that we will be following your careers with great interest and pride. Congratulations, class of 2020. And now it is my pleasure to introduce the U.S. Surgeon General and Vice Admiral Dr. Jerome Adams. We are honored to welcome our nation's doctor. Vice Admiral Jerome M. Adams serves as the 20th Surgeon General of the United States. Dr. Adams holds a bachelor's degrees in biochemistry and psychology from the University of Maryland, Baltimore County, and a master's of public health degree from the University of California, Berkeley. He earned his medical degree right here at the Indiana University School of Medicine. Prior to being selected for his current position, he served as the Indiana State Health Commissioner from 2014 to 2017, where he presided over Indiana's efforts to manage the state's unprecedented HIV outbreak. He spearheaded life-saving policies including implementation of the syringe exchange program throughout the state. Dr. Adams' motto as Surgeon General is better health through partnerships. As Surgeon General, he is committed to maintaining strong relationships with the public health community and forging new partnerships with non-traditional partners. We at the IU School of Medicine fully support this emphasis on grassroots public health work. We are only as strong as the relationships we develop with our patients, with organizations, and with the government. As Surgeon General, Dr. Adams oversees the operations of the U.S. Public Health Service, 
which has approximately 6,500 uniformed health officers who serve to promote, protect, and advance the health and safety of our nation. Thank you, Dr. Adams, for taking the time to share your message with the class of 2020 as they prepare to begin their residencies during the COVID-19 pandemic. Hello, and thank you for the opportunity to address you as part of the Indiana University School of Medicine commencement. And thank you for allowing me to be among the first to congratulate all of you. Your hard work and perseverance will be rewarded in ways you can't even imagine. There will be many days when you know you have truly made a difference in someone's life or the life of their loved one. And if you're as lucky as I've been, you'll discover your career has many unique chapters and opportunities that go beyond patient care but that have their roots in values and lessons learned right here at IU. What you've accomplished in the 20 plus years of training leading to this moment is no small feat, and you should be tremendously proud of yourselves. For those of you who are unfamiliar with the work of the Surgeon General, it's important that you know that I'm neither a surgeon nor a general. I'm an anesthesiologist and an admiral. I actually still practice at Walter Reed National Military Medical Center, and as an admiral, I help oversee operations of the United States Public Health Service Commission Corps, an elite team of over 6,000 full-time, highly qualified public health professionals. Almost 3,000 of my fellow officers have been deployed as part of our COVID-19 response so far. But my most visible role is as the nation's doctor, empowering Americans with the evidence and actions they need to protect and improve their health. And I want you to know, you can often do as much for your patients through good communication and advocacy as you can by patching them up when they get sick or hurt. As a matter of fact, I spoke in my own TED talk about the sense of accomplishment and purpose I felt when wheeling a trauma patient to the ICU after a successful surgery for life-threatening injuries. But I also point out that I've helped save exponentially more lives with my advisory calling on more Americans to carry naloxone an advisory that resulted in over a 400% increase in naloxone dispensed than I've saved in 10 years of working in the operating room. The fact is, your medical skills will save lives, but your advocacy skills can save just as many and often more lives. So I implore you to always seek ways to use your full array of skills and influence, especially your voice. It seems surreal to me to join you as your commencement speaker, knowing I sat where you are today not all that long ago. I remember being filled with excitement for my future. But honestly, I was also filled with a significant amount of apprehension. I suspect that many of you may feel that way too, especially in a time of such uncertainty. A few short years ago, you walked into one of the largest medical schools in the United States. You since experienced sleepless nights where it seemed there would never be enough coffee and long surgeries where your bladder wished you hadn't drank so much coffee. You've contributed to thousands of patient care hours across Indiana and discovered which causes mean the most to you. You've traveled to other states and even other countries to hone your skills and to promote health for other people. And as you transition to this next chapter, I want you to remember the family and friends the mentors and other care providers you worked with, and especially the patients who helped form who you are today. So I ask that you please take a moment to thank each of these important and influential people in your lives. And please make it a point to thank these people every day you see them for the rest of your careers. One of my proudest moments as a doctor was when I was leaving Eskenazi for the last time before heading to Washington, D.C. There was a receiving line that went on for two hours to wish me well. And it wasn't just faculty and residents. It was nurses and RTs, security guards and cafeteria workers, administrators and custodial staff. All these people and more helped me become Surgeon General. And the fact is, they're the reason you're here today. Those people showed up to wish me off not because they thought I was a great doctor, but because I asked them about their day and their family, and they thought I was a good person. I'll never, ever forget that. Of course, I can't speak to you today without acknowledging that the start of your next stages will be different from anyone who has ever embarked on this journey in the past. The COVID-19 pandemic has already become a defining mark on your careers. You've experienced the loss of an in-person commencement 
and have no doubt postponed or drastically altered other significant celebrations. But you've also seen the tremendous power of your profession and the support of your community. Just as our country has carried on through other tumultuous and uncertain times, we will do so once again. And it will be in great part due to the compassionate work of all of you. So take a deep breath, because together we will get through this. And with luck and hard work, you'll be stronger for it. In fact, though this may seem like an especially challenging time to graduate from medical school, I will say it's precisely the perfect time. You chose a profession to help people, and now more than ever, people need your help. Your brains, your skills, your energy and commitment, and your compassion have never been of greater value. Moving forward, we'll focus more on telehealth and addressing disparities, and never before have people so appreciated the value of vaccinations and of public health and prevention. It's a time for you to build on the experiences and knowledge you have and force multiply that with creativity, innovation, and drive. You more than any graduating class in recent memory have an opportunity to change the entire practice of medicine for decades to come. As I wrap up, I'd like to leave you with a few challenges. First of all, be patient, but also be persistent. We're in the midst of a once in a century public health crisis. And the fact is, there is no blueprint for how we get through this. So understand we are all learning how to navigate these unprecedented waters. But also, be persistent about demanding change you feel will improve outcomes. One thing is painfully clear. The status quo was not adequate to deal with a novel coronavirus. So be innovators and disruptors. Never before has there been an environment so willing to embrace new ideas and break old molds. It is with deliberate disruption and novel ideas that I know we will overcome the unique challenges and obstacles we all face today. My second challenge is that you advocate for your patients and your profession. Do this within the hospital, the community, and the nation. Again, you may find that you can save as many lives by using your voice as you can by using your stethoscope or your scalpel. Third, please practice good self-care. We're seeing now more than ever that physician burnout is real. Just as a car can't go nearly as far or as fast on a flat tire, you cannot take care of others if you're not taking care of yourself. So I want to stress the importance of self-care and striking a good work-life balance. When we prioritize our physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual health, not only do we feel better, but we also have more to give others. My last challenge is to be a good person as well as a good doctor. Remember, people need to know that you care before they care what you know. Today is an exciting occasion, and it's one you should all be immensely proud of. And although we are not sitting on campus to celebrate, please know I have never been so proud to be your Surgeon General. It is all of you that remind me why I chose this profession and why I will continue to advocate for the necessary resources to keep you safe, healthy, and productive. You've received excellent training and education, and now it's up to you as graduates to go forth and improve the health and health care of this nation. And it's up to the rest of us to support you as you go forward. So congratulations, Indiana University School of Medicine Class of 2020. I look forward to hearing of the many triumphs of the next generation of clinicians and to working with many of you as we improve America's health. Vice Admiral Adams, thank you for your message today. In recognition and appreciation of your many contributions to Indiana University, I am pleased to award you a Bicentennial Medal. The Bicentennial Medal is intended to honor those individuals who have broadened the reach and impact of IU around the state, nation, and world. The medals themselves are unique, made from metal salvaged from the old bells which hung in the student building on the IU Bloomington campus, giving recipients a piece of Indiana University's history. Vice Admiral Adams, you are certainly one of the people who represent the very best of IU. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Adams,
for your uplifting words of encouragement, for your insight, your wisdom, and for your service. We will now acknowledge our class of 2020 graduates. Will we begin with our Master of Science in Medical Science graduates, presented by Vicki Bonds, Director of Pipeline and Predoctoral Programs at IU School of Medicine. It is my honor to announce the class of 2020 Master of Science and Medical Science graduates. Celestina Awapaleta, Daniel Bodu, Ashlyn Jackson, Catherine Morocho, Victor Alafusi, Osama Sadun, Aramis Smith, Micah Williams. This concludes our Master of Science and Medical Science graduates. Good morning. It's an honor and privilege to confer graduate level degrees to our students who have chosen to pursue studies in a wide variety of research areas on which the practice of medicine depends. This research helps advance our understanding and treatment of the most devastating diseases of our time, including Alzheimer's disease, cancer, and diabetes. Our graduates are at the forefront, serving in labs that work to develop new therapies and deepen our knowledge of basic science. We hope the discoveries our graduates will make in the future will translate from the bench to the bedside, ultimately improving patient care. We will begin with the Master's of Science degrees. Dr. Thomas Hurley, who serves as the Associate Dean for Graduate Education, will assist. It is my honor to announce the class of 2020 Master of Science and Clinical Research graduates. Lizeth Achiri, Rasha Aharadadi, Allison Baker, Benjamin Bick, Gabriella Centers, Angela Chen, Rebecca C. Dirks, Gregory Durham, Stephanie Farron, Caitlin Flick, Matthew Friedman, Virgil L. Gregory Jr., Jackie Hernandez Nino, Brian Hosfield, Christina Huang, Shannon Lyon, April Rawrig, Angela Ritchie, Hani Shamseddin, Ethan Steele, Lauren Stewart, Ani Yolamanchili. This concludes our Master of Science in Clinical Research graduates. Now, I have the honor to present our Master of Science graduates. Pauline Elizabeth Ahmed, Mahmoud Ahmed, Courtney D. Brown, Lauren Churchill, Leah Donovan, Agnes Duaspoy, Nicholas Downing, Sierra Dyer, Annabelle Farmer, Jacqueline Furson, Dominic Fiore, Rachel Larson Franklin, Ellison Freeman, Melissa Hartman, Ali Henschel, Clayton Hoffaker, 
Christopher Howe, Aaliyah Jameson, Manpreet Kwar, Lauren Nicole Kavner, Nicholas Lasowski, Joanna Woniska, Sophia May, Alexis McIntyre, Joseph Mercho, Ellen Panetto, Sham Patel, Rochelle Shashmi Ranayika, Carolyn Louise Rates, Catherine Claire Rates, Alexandra Reynolds, Madura Sharish Shukla, Libby Silverman, Shelby Skidmore, Connor Sorrels, Humza Sayid, Kennedy Addison Thatch, Storm Van Way, Regina Vincent, Rebecca Wisner, Ethan Wright, Georgian Younger, Ebba Shataj Zaidi. We will continue with the presentation of our Doctor of Philosophy graduates. Faculty supervisors play an important role in mentoring and guiding PhD students through their doctoral research program and helping them reach this milestone. The name of each PhD graduate's mentor is listed in the graduate slide and can also be found in your program. Homaira M. Azim, Doctor of Philosophy, Anatomy and Cell Biology. Hannah E. Baker, Doctor of Philosophy, Cellular and Integrative Physiology. Lincoln James Barlow, Doctor of Philosophy, Pharmacology. Allison Melissa Bates, Doctor of Philosophy, Biochemistry and Molecular Biology. Whitney Bullock, Doctor of Philosophy, Anatomy and Cell Biology. Ryan Taylor Gibson, Doctor of Philosophy, Microbiology and Immunology. Sarah Ann Justice, Doctor of Philosophy, Biochemistry and Molecular Biology. Abhishek Anant Kulkarni, Doctor of Philosophy, Biochemistry and Molecular Biology. Leon Ping Lee, Doctor of Philosophy, Medical Neuroscience. Sriporna Majumdar, Doctor of Philosophy, Medical Neuroscience. Emily R. Mason, Doctor of Philosophy, Pharmacology. Safa Muhammad, Doctor of Philosophy, Microbiology and Immunology. Tyler Gwen, Doctor of Philosophy, Medical Neuroscience. Robert C. Peary, Doctor of Philosophy, Pharmacology. Joseph Amo Rupert, Doctor of Philosophy, Biochemistry and Molecular Biology. Trupti Shetty, Doctor of Philosophy, Pharmacology. Edwin Stage, Doctor of Philosophy, Medical Neuroscience. Buyun Tang, Doctor of Philosophy, Biochemistry and Molecular Biology. Seth Winfrey, Doctor of Philosophy, Cellular and Integrative Physiology. 
Shuang Shuang Yang, Doctor of Philosophy, Microbiology, and Immunology. This concludes the presentation of our Doctor of Philosophy graduates. We have seven students with us today who have completed the arduous medical scientist training program that requires extensive study and additional credit hours in order to receive a combined degree, a doctor of medicine, as well as a doctor of philosophy. For the past 18 years, our Indiana University medical scientist training program has maintained a unique partnership with Weldon School of Biomedical Engineering at Purdue University to foster the development of physician biomedical engineers as well as physician scientists. Ariana Aslame, Doctor of Philosophy in Cellular and Integrative Physiology, Indiana University. Ariana is starting Internal Medicine Endocrinology Residency at Cedar sinai Medical Center. Sherry Huang, Doctor of Philosophy in Pharmacology, Indiana University. Sherry will be starting Internal Medicine Pediatrics Residency in University of South Florida, Morsani College of Medicine. Alexander Michael Keel, Doctor of Philosophy in Biomedical Engineering, Purdue University. Alexander will begin residency in Anesthesiology, Mayo Clinic School of Graduate Medical Education. Aishik Cole, Doctor of Philosophy in Biomedical Engineering, Purdue University. Aishik will begin internal medicine residency at University of Texas Southwestern Medical School. Jenny B. Lin, Doctor of Philosophy in Biomedical Engineering, Purdue University. Jenny will begin general surgery residency at Indiana University School of Medicine. Lauren Kelly Lynch, Doctor of Philosophy in Biomedical Engineering, Purdue University. Lauren will begin residency in internal medicine at Brigham and Women's Hospital. Lisa Deng Yuan, Doctor of Philosophy in Medical and Molecular Genetics, Indiana University. Lisa will begin a pathology residency at the Massachusetts General Hospital. Now we will announce our class of 2020 medical degree graduates. As the names of our graduates are read, we will be announcing the recipients of annual awards given to graduating seniors by the IU School of Medicine and various departments. These recipients are all very deserving and will receive their certificates and plaques in the near future. Although we are not together in person, we'd like to call attention to two additional distinctions that accompany our ceremony. We hope our graduates will have an opportunity to share and keep these honors displayed in the form of cords in recognition of their hard work. First, the green and gold Alpha Omega Alpha Medical Honor Society cords designate Doctor of Medicine students who are graduating with the highest academic distinctions. The gold humanism Honor Society cords designate Doctor of Medicine students who are graduating with highest distinction for humanism in medicine. These honors will be indicated on each slide for students who have received these distinctions. It is now my pleasure to introduce Drs. Brad Allen, Emily Walvard, Paul Coe, and Maureen Harrington to present our Doctor of Medicine graduates. It is my privilege to announce our class of 2020 medical degree graduates. For each graduate, we will indicate the residency specialty and location. We will also announce award recipients. Cynthia Aguane 
ABOM, Obstetrics and Gynecology, Emory University School of Medicine, Georgia. Hamza Abdul Jabbar, Internal Medicine, Louisiana State University Health Science Center, Shreveport. Zain Alabdin Abadali, Urology, Indiana University School of Medicine. Priya Rashmi Abizankar, Internal Medicine, University of Kentucky Medical Center. Andrews Ajapong, Internal Medicine Preliminary, Indiana University School of Medicine and Anesthesiology, The Ohio State University Medical Center. Michael Ajay, Anesthesiology, Indiana University School of Medicine, recipient of the Janice M. Pescuzzi Award. Christian Alabach, Pediatrics, Psychology, Child Psychology. Indiana University School of Medicine. Kimberly Allen, Anesthesiology, Rush University Medical Center, Chicago. Zachary David Arnold, Transitional Year at St. Vincent's Hospital Center and Anesthesiology, Indiana University School of Medicine. Tyler R. Scott, General Surgery, Henry Ford Allegiance Health, Michigan. Kaylee Denae Avery, Neurodevelopmental Disabilities, Indiana University School of Medicine, recipient of the Department of Pediatrics Tina Kwan Award. Damilola Owonasi, Internal Medicine, Indiana University School of Medicine. Benjamin Scott Bacon, Pediatrics, Indiana University School of Medicine. Jennifer Belasco, Family Medicine, Franciscan Health, Indiana. Cindy Marie Barboza Nunez, Family Medicine, University of Florida College of Medicine, Shands Hospital. Meredith Michelle Barrientes, Pediatrics, St. Louis University School of Medicine. Taylor James Baston, Internal Medicine, St. Louis University School of Medicine. Nathaniel Bates, Anesthesiology, University of Louisville School of Medicine. Maria Catherine Bell, Transitional Year at St. Vincent's Hospital Center and Dermatology, Indiana University School of Medicine, recipient of the American Medical Women's Association Glasgow Rubin Award. Nicholas James Berg, Internal Medicine, Indiana University School of Medicine. Jillian Ray Berger, Internal Medicine, University of Louisville School of Medicine. Sophia Ada Bertoloni Mele, Internal Medicine Pediatrics, Case Western University Hospital Cleveland Medical Center. Nango Collins Binda, Internal Medicine, The Ohio State University Medical Center. Julie Mary Bittar, Internal Medicine, St. Vincent's Hospital, and Dermatology, Rush University Medical Center in Chicago. Madeline Marie Blackwell, Surgery, Indiana University School of Medicine. Heather Blickenstaff, Pediatrics, Spectrum Health, Michigan State University. Caroline Bolorinwa, Psychiatry, Medical University of South Carolina. Andrew Bolasani, 
I would like to recognize the family members and friends of Andrew Bolasani who are viewing with us today and will receive his diploma on his behalf. Andrew was an incredible medical student and friend to all who sadly passed away last fall. The Indiana University School of Medicine is proud to present Andrew's Doctor of Medicine degree posthumously in honor of his dedication and commitment to the field of medicine. Benjamin David Boot, Emergency Medicine, Wright State University, Boonshoff School of Medicine. Alexander Brody. Jennifer Rose Brahm, Obstetrics and Gynecology, University of Arkansas College of Medicine, Little Rock. Caitlin Brown, Family Medicine, Carl Foundation Hospital, Illinois. Tucker Allen Brush, Transitional Year at McNeil Hospital, Anesthesiology, Indiana University School of Medicine. Christopher Mark Burns, Family Medicine, Indiana University Health, Ball Memorial Hospital. Ashley Nicole Bush, Orthopedic Surgery, Hospital of the University of Pennsylvania. Innocent Virianjiro, General Surgery, Creighton University Affiliated Hospitals, Nebraska. Sarah Bird. Taylor Joanne Cable, Internal Medicine, Pediatrics, Western Michigan University, Stryker School of Medicine. Khalid Kampa, Otolaryngology, University of Colorado, School of Medicine, recipient of the Janice M. Pescuzzi Award. Megan Marie Carroll, Internal Medicine Pediatrics, University of Missouri, Kansas City Programs. Michael Ian Carson, Internal Medicine, Indiana University School of Medicine. Nicholas Robert Carter, Preliminary Internal Medicine, St. Vincent's Hospital, Anesthesiology, Indiana University School of Medicine. Brian Savios, Urology, University of Alabama Medical Center, Birmingham. Sean Chang, Family Medicine, Indiana University School of Medicine. Jesse Chija Chen, Obstetrics and Gynecology, recipient of the IU School of Medicine Office of Diversity Affairs Excellence in Service Award. Lindsay Christensen, Family Medicine, St. Joseph's Health, New York. Mary Caitlin Christie, Internal Medicine, Indiana University School of Medicine. Stephen Wade Clapp, Internal Medicine Pediatrics, Indiana University School of Medicine, recipient of the Department of Pediatrics Lyman T. Meeks Clinical Award. Denise Clark, Transitional Year, Indiana University, Ball Memorial Hospital, Dermatology, University of Cincinnati Medical Center, Ohio. Justin Garrett Cole, Family Medicine, Prisma Health Midlands, University of South Carolina School of Medicine. Jonathan Patrick Koss, Pediatrics Emergency Medicine, University of Arizona College of Medicine, Tucson. James Wade Coston, Radiology Diagnostic, Aurora St. Luke's Medical Center, Wisconsin. Haley Hatsuko Craig, Obstetrics and Gynecology, Indiana University School of Medicine, recipient of the Janice M. Pascuzzi Award and the Richard S. Hansel Award for Outstanding Senior Student Teaching in Obstetrics and Gynecology. Karina Janice Creighton, General Surgery, 
Wright State University, Boonshoff School of Medicine. Isabel Dagger, Pediatrics, University of North Carolina Hospitals. Paige Nicole Dahlgren, Pediatrics, University of Minnesota Medical School. Nihanth Shorya Damara, Internal Medicine, Indiana University School of Medicine. Elliot Dano, Internal Medicine, Walter Reed National Military Medical Center. William Cozine de Brock, Plastic Surgery, Integrated, University of North Carolina Hospitals. Austin Carey Dietz, Internal Medicine, University of Texas Southwestern Medical School, Dallas. Ashley Alexandra Detzner, Transitional Year at St. Vincent's Hospital in Radiology Diagnostic, Indiana University School of Medicine. Roshni Dut, Internal Medicine, Duke University Medical Center, North Carolina, and Neurology, Duke University, recipient of the Gerald Bepko Award for Excellence in Community Service. Tai Do, Internal Medicine, Wellstar Kennestone Regional Medical Center, Georgia. Nikunj Nitin Dande, Vascular Surgery, University of California Davis Medical Center, recipient of the Dolores Secret Memorial Scholarship. Christine Doherty, Emergency Medicine, Madigan Army Medical Center. Patrick J. Dugan, Emergency Medicine, Indiana University School of Medicine. Daniel Joseph Edwards, Internal Medicine, Indiana University School of Medicine. Caitlin Goggins Edwards, Pediatrics, Indiana University School of Medicine. Melissa Egert, Urology, Indiana University School of Medicine. Tobin Lee Eicher, Family Medicine, Indiana University Health, Ball Memorial Hospital. William Yasser El Khatib, Internal Medicine, Mayo Clinic School of Graduate Medical Education, Florida. Allison Grace Mbalabala, General Surgery, Southern Illinois University School of Medicine and Affiliated Hospitals. Caitlin Elizabeth Engel, Pediatrics, Indiana University School of Medicine. Zita and Lamua Erbawar Bexen, Internal Medicine Pediatrics, University of Illinois College of Medicine, Peoria, Order of St. Francis. Thank you, Dr. Allen. I am Dr. Emily Walford, the Associate Dean of Student Affairs, and I am so privileged to announce our next group of graduates. Joseph Scott Eskew, Diagnostic Radiology, Louisiana State University Health Science Center. J. Anthony Estrada, Psychiatry, Veterans Affairs, Greater Los Angeles. Mailing Eubank, Internal Medicine, University of Chicago, followed by Neurology, University of Chicago. Dylan W. Fisher, Orthopedic Surgery, University of Nebraska Medical Center. Vaughn James Florian, Anesthesiology, University of Rochester Strong Memorial. Rochelle Gilma Montero Ford. Mark Evan Frazier, Internal Medicine, Indiana University School of Medicine. Mikal Serena Freeman, 
recipient of the American Medical Women's Association Glasgow Rubin Award. Michael Frondorf, Anesthesiology, University of Texas Medical School. Wesley Gallagher, Emergency Medicine, Case Western University Hospitals, Cleveland Medical Center. Lester Maxwell Adams Galvin, Child Neurology, University of Louisville School of Medicine. Zachary Adam Gapinski, Orthopedic Surgery, Orlando Health. Shori Scott Gerardo, Internal Medicine, St. Mary Mercy Hospital. Patrick James Gidley, Transitional Year, Mercy Health, Grand Rapids, Diagnostic Radiology, Loyola University Medical Center. Sophia D. Gillum, Emergency Medicine, Indiana University School of Medicine. Adam J. Given, Transitional Year, St. Vincent Hospital, Physical Medicine and Rehabilitation, The Ohio State University Medical Center. Stephen Godfrey, Emergency Medicine, Western Michigan University Stryker School of Medicine. Stephen John Graber, Family Medicine, Loma Linda University, recipient of the Department of Family Medicine Award. Melissa Sue Gronseski, Pediatrics, University of Florida College of Medicine, Shands Hospital. Constantine Grunwald, Internal Medicine, Christ Hospital, Diagnostic Radiology, Yale New Haven Hospital. David Christopher Hawk, Internal Medicine, University of Utah Health. Fuad Christopher Haddad, General Surgery, Charleston Area Medical Center. Emily Ann Hadley, Obstetrics and Gynecology, St. Vincent Hospital Medical Center. John Handy, Internal Medicine, St. Vincent Hospital, followed by Anesthesiology, Indiana University School of Medicine. Connor Nicholas Hannon, Internal Medicine Pediatrics, Indiana University School of Medicine. Arvind Haran, Emergency Medicine, Albert Einstein College of Medicine, Montefiore Medical Center. Kyle James Hardwick, Psychiatry, Carl R. Darnell Army Medical Center. Sarah Elizabeth Harmon, Pediatrics, Medical College of Wisconsin. Sydney Marie Harmon, Otolaryngology, University of Louisville School of Medicine. Jonathan Leslie Harper, Otolaryngology, University of Kentucky Medical Center. Kyle J. Hart, Internal Medicine Transitional Year, Christ Hospital, followed by Diagnostic Radiology, Medical College of Wisconsin. Fawaz Husnain, Transitional Year, St. Vincent Hospital, Diagnostic Radiology, Indiana University School of Medicine. John Nelson Hauber, Emergency Medicine, Western Michigan University Stryker School of Medicine. Savannah Hodder, Internal Medicine, University of Tennessee Health Science Center. Alexander Gregory Hayden, Internal Medicine, University of Colorado School of Medicine. Julia Elizabeth Haynes, Internal Medicine, University of Colorado School of Medicine. Recipient of the American Medical Women's Association Glasgow Rubin Award and the Department of Family Medicine Global Citizen Award. Rubing He, 
Transitional Year, Indiana University School of Medicine. Diagnostic Radiology, Indiana University School of Medicine. Recipient of the Student Excellence in Radiology Award. Krishna Hegde, Transitional Year, Ohio Health Riverside Methodist Hospital. Anesthesiology, New York University Grossman School of Medicine. Charles Thomas Heeman, General Surgery, Eastern Virginia Medical School. Hannah Aaron Henderson, Neurology, Temple University Hospital. Garrett D. Hilsden Smith, Anesthesiology, University of Pittsburgh Medical Center. Vasi Hanova, Family Medicine, Indiana University Health Ball Memorial Hospital. Allison Hostetler, Internal Medicine, Pediatrics, University of Minnesota Medical School. Amanda Hornbach, Child Neurology, Cincinnati Children's Hospital Medical Center. Mariana Hoyos, General Surgery, Indiana University School of Medicine. Evelyn Z. Wen Huang, Emergency Medicine, Northwestern McGaw Medical Center. Benjamin Hufford, Transitional Year, St. Vincent Hospital, Anesthesiology, Indiana University School of Medicine. Tyler Joseph Hughes, Emergency Medicine, Case Western Metro Health Medical Center. Prabhajia Hundel, Internal Medicine, St. Vincent Hospital Medical Center. Aubrey Wushak, Internal Medicine, The Ohio State University Medical Center. Nasro Abdenur Isaac, Dermatology, Mayo Clinic School of Graduate Medical Education, recipient of the Department of Dermatology Annual Medical Student Award. Hannah Virginia Jarvis Harper, Urology, University of Kentucky Medical Center. Andrew Jason John, Transitional Year, St. Joseph Mercy Hospital, Physical Medicine and Rehabilitation, Carolinas Medical Center. Elliot Matthew Johns, Orthopedic Surgery, Southern Illinois University School of Medicine. Alexandra Nicole Johnson, Child Neurology, Stanford University, recipient of the Mary Jean Yoder Memorial Award. Angelica Lee Jones, Emergency Medicine, Darnell Medical Center at Fort Hood. J1 Jung, Internal Medicine, University of Louisville School of Medicine. Brianne Jungles, Psychiatry, Wright State University Boonshoff School of Medicine. Alexis Nicole Kaiser, Neurology, Indiana University School of Medicine. Tavana D. Keiko, Obstetrics and Gynecology, University of Alabama Medical Center. Ryan Lee Kaufman, Family Medicine, Community Health Network. Zonair Ali Khan, Internal Medicine, Cleveland Clinic Foundation. Andrew Christopher Kaw, Psychiatry, Kaiser Permanente Fontana. Yu Kim. James Arthur Knight II, General Surgery, University of Kentucky Medical Center, recipient of the Julius M. Goodman Scholarship. Thomas Kotnick, Family Medicine, Darnell Medical Center at Fort Hood.
Adriana Marie Kramer, Family Medicine, Memorial Hospital, Indiana. Dimitar Lubomirov Krostev, Internal Medicine, Loyola University Medical Center. Kevin Weefan Kuo, Internal Medicine Pediatrics, University of Tennessee Health Sciences Center. J. Huynh Kwan, General Surgery, Indiana University School of Medicine. Paul LaCanetta, Neurology, Case Western University Hospitals, Cleveland Medical Center. Michael Ladd, Family Medicine, Grand Strand Regional Medical Center. Joseph Lake, Emergency Medicine, University Hospitals, Jackson, Missouri. Benjamin Scott Lancaster, Otolaryngology, Wake Forest Baptist Medical Center, winner of the Marcus Robin Medal Award and valedictorian for the class of 2020. Emily Elise Larson, General Surgery, Vanderbilt University Medical Center, recipient of the American Medical Women's Association Glasgow Rubin Award, the Department of Surgery, Dr. and Mrs. John N. Pittman Surgery Award, and the Department of Surgery, Indiana Chapter of the American College of Surgeons Award. Shireen Georgia Louise Lattimore, General Surgery, University of Texas Medical School. Justin Lee, Internal Medicine Preliminary Year, West Suburban Medical Center, Diagnostic Radiology, University of Chicago. Timothy Aaron Lehman, Family Medicine, St. Joseph's Regional Medical Center. Brittany Darshell Lett, Obstetrics and Gynecology, Western Michigan University Stryker School of Medicine. Hi, this is Paul Coe, Associate Dean for Curricular Development and Oversight, and it's my great honor to announce the next group of graduates. Mo Zhu Li, going into internal medicine at the University of Texas Southwestern Medical School, recipient of the American Medical Women's Association Classical Rubin Award. Shi Wen Li, going into surgery at the Indiana University School of Medicine. Wendy Lee, doing her transitional year at Riverside County Hospital, then dermatology at Harbor UCLA Medical Center, recipient of the American Medical Women's Association Classical Rubin Award. Jane Lau, going into vascular surgery at MedStar Washington Hospital Center, recipient of the Dolores Sikrit Memorial Scholarship. Nicholas James Lichen, going into pediatrics at the University of Michigan Hospital. Dylan Jasper Long, going into emergency medicine at Allegheny General Hospital. Chelsea Megan Luria, going into thoracic surgery at Indiana University School of Medicine. Recipient of the American Medical Women's Association Glasgow Rubin Award and the Department of Surgery, Dr. and Mrs. John N. Pittman Surgery Award. Jose Carlos Lojano, going into anesthesiology at Cedar sinai Medical Center. Perina Minera, going into pediatrics at the University of Chicago Medical Center. Miles Daniel Mann, doing his transitional year at St. Vincent Hospital Center, then anesthesiology at Indiana University School of Medicine. Philip Ralph Marcatus, going into internal medicine at Lincoln Medical Center, then radiology diagnostic at Econ School of Medicine at Mass Sinai. John 
Markser doing his transitional year at St. Vincent Hospital Center, followed by anesthesiology at Indiana University School of Medicine. Charles George Mavros going into anesthesiology at the University of Illinois College of Medicine. Adam Stewart May, going into dermatology at Indiana University School of Medicine. Joseph Patrick McCain, going into psychiatry at Indiana University School of Medicine. Ross McCauley. Brianna Michelle McElderry, going into internal medicine at Cleveland Clinic Foundation. Janelle Katrina McNeil Masuka, going into anesthesiology at University of North Carolina Hospital. Eric Medreno, going into emergency medicine at the University of Toledo. Christina Marie Cruz Malibi, going into anesthesiology at the University of Illinois College of Medicine. Natalia Mezzanina, going into family medicine at Franciscan Health Olympia Fields. Justin Scott Michael, going into neurological surgery, Southern Illinois University School of Medicine recipient of the Julius M. Goodman Scholarship. Haseeb Mahoudi, going into internal medicine at Indiana University School of Medicine. Luke Andrew Momper, going into orthopedic surgery at St. Louis University School of Medicine. Brittany Maria Moore, going into pediatrics at Children's Mercy Hospital. Dylan Moore, going into family medicine, still OPTI Peak Vista Family Medicine Residency Program. Sean Moore, going into internal medicine, Spectrum Health, Michigan State University. Leah Elaine Morevic, doing transitional year at Indiana University School of Medicine, then anesthesiology at Indiana University School of Medicine. Brian Morocco, going into general surgery at Guthrie Robert Packer Hospital, recipient of the IU School of Medicine Office of Diversity Affairs Excellence in Research Award. Adam James Morris, going into emergency medicine at University of Southern Florida Orsani College of Medicine. Jessica Muldoon, going to Pathology, Anatomic, and Clinical at Indiana University School of Medicine. Recipient of the Department of Pathology Carlton D. Nordchow Award. Brandon Myers, doing transitional year at Eisenhower Army Medical Center. Quinton Tyler Nanadi, going to emergency medicine at Carolina's Medical Center, recipient of the Society for Academic Emergency Medicine Excellence in Emergency Medicine Award. Neil Bojiraj Naveen, going to orthopedic surgery at University of Illinois College of Medicine. Kenneth Chinadu Indifa, going into internal medicine, University of California, San Francisco. Azad Nupon, going into internal medicine, Campbell University. Nahil Ninad, going to general surgery, Medical Center, Central Georgia, Mercer University School of Medicine. Arno Elizafen Obungu, going to neurological surgery, University of Florida College of Medicine, recipient of the Julius M. Goodman Scholarship. Gail Jean 
Akanya, go into neurology, Indiana University School of Medicine. Recipient of the Department of Neurology Alexander Traylor Ross Award and the American Medical Women's Association Glasgow Rubin Award. Timothy Edward O'Connor, going into internal medicine, Loyola University Medical Center. Laura Beatrix O'Elman. Lauren Offerlo, going to Neurology, Spectrum Health, Michigan State University. Blessing E. Obemudia, going into Anesthesiology, University of Florida College of Medicine. Bella Xing Yi O'Malley, going into Pediatrics, University of Texas Southwestern Medical School. Recipient of the Department of Pediatrics, John E. Hubi Award in Ambulatory Pediatrics. Kyle Joseph O'Malley, going into internal medicine at University of Texas Southwestern Medical School. Ashley Omorobe, going into emergency medicine, George Washington University. Recipient of the Linda Means Award and the ASEP Medical School Student Professionalism and Service Award in Emergency Medicine. Chu Jen Yang On, going into internal medicine, Indiana University School of Medicine. Adrian Oroko, going into neurology at University of Utah Health. Paxton Nicole Ott, going into physical medicine and rehabilitation at Ohio State University Medical Center. Jeffrey Ori, going into general surgery, West Virginia University School of Medicine. Robert Painter, going into general surgery, University of California, Irvine Medical Center. Janit Pendaya, going to Anesthesiology, University of Rochester, Strong Memorial. Priya Parikh, going into Internal Medicine, University of Cincinnati Medical Center. Elizabeth Paramanath, going to Internal Medicine, University of Florida, College of Medicine. Monica Park, going into Family Medicine, St. Vincent Hospital Center. Jonathan Andreas Para, going to Emergency Medicine, University of Toledo. Parath Umesh Patel, going to Internal Medicine, Wake Forest Baptist Medical Center, followed by Radiology Diagnostic at Duke University Medical Center. Pooja Patel, going into Internal Medicine, Duke University Medical Center, recipient of the Department of Anatomy, John Barnhill Award. Ryan Remy Patton, going into Orthopedic Surgery at Indiana University School of Medicine. Deborah M. Pavey, going to Family Medicine, Memorial Hospital. Shani Nakuri Pena, going to Neurology at Indiana University School of Medicine. Michael Pergola, going to Emergency Medicine at Case Western Metro Health Medical Center. Lewis Andrew Perkins, going to General Surgery, University of California, San Diego Medical Center. Recipient of the Department of Surgery Dr. and Mrs. John N. Pittman Surgery War. Elise Rebecca Porter, Transitional Year, St. Vincent Hospital. Anesthesiology, Indiana University School of Medicine. David Andrew Price, Transitional Year, Indiana University Health Ball Memorial Hospital. 
followed by ophthalmology at Indiana University School of Medicine. Julia Marie Prieto going to obstetrics and gynecology, Flushing Hospital Medical Center. Perry Lee Rabin going to internal medicine, Rush University Medical Center. Unish Rajmaira, going to emergency medicine, Stony Brook Teaching Hospitals. Shriya Ramum, going to family medicine, University of California, Davis Medical Center. Aaron Ratterman, going to pediatrics, Indiana University School of Medicine. Russell Reed, going into Neurology, Indiana University School of Medicine, recipient of the Janice M. Pascuzzi Award and the American Academy of Neurology Medical Student Award for Excellence in Neurology. Max E. Rich, going into Family Medicine, Mercy Medical Center. Rebecca Leah Richardson, go into obstetrics and gynecology, Detroit Medical Center, Wayne State University. Kyle Ridlin, go into general surgery, University of Kentucky Medical Center. Shaniqua Reese, go into general surgery, Howard University Hospital. Tyler Philip Robinson, going into general surgery at Indiana University School of Medicine. Giovanni Rodriguez, going to emergency medicine at Massachusetts General Hospital, recipient of the Gerald Bepco Award for Excellence in Professionalism. Giovanni De Jesus Rodriguez, doing transitional year at University of Central Florida College of Medicine, followed by Diagnostic Radiology, Aventura Hospital. Hi, this is Maureen Harrington reading. Jordan Rogers, Internal Medicine, IU School of Medicine. Jenny Mar, Christina Rojas, Internal Medicine, New York University Grossman School of Medicine, followed by Anesthesiology, New York University Grossman School of Medicine. Jason Rothschild, Family Medicine, Hinsdale Hospital, Illinois. Audra Rugraf, Pediatrics, IU School of Medicine. Sebastian Ruiz Herrera, Internal Medicine, IU School of Medicine. Dylan Rupska, Emergency Medicine, Advocate Healthcare, Illinois. Ariel Faye Russell, Transitional Year, St. Vincent Hospital Center, Indiana, followed by Anesthesiology, IU School of Medicine. Ariel is the recipient of the Lorraine E. and Raymond A. Gaffney Scholarship Award, the Janice M. Pascuzzi Award, and the Patricia A. Keener Service Learning Award. Zoe Marie Sciens, General Surgery, University of Iowa Hospitals and Clinics. Ali Salome, Crystal Salazar, Psychiatry, IU School of Medicine. Crystal was a recipient of the Spirit of Excellence Award for Community Service and Leadership in Family Medicine. Jared Salisbury, Transitional Year, Indiana University Health, Ball Memorial Hospital, followed by Diagnostic Radiology, Indiana University School of Medicine. Morgan Sandaleski, Otolaryngology, Loyola University Medical Center, Illinois. 
Morgan was the recipient of the American Medical Women's Association Glasgow Rubin Award and the Department of Otolaryngology Edward C. Weisberger Award. Charles Lucas Scheel, Psychiatry, IU School of Medicine. David Schmitz, Transitional Year, IU Health Ball Memorial Hospital, Diagnostic Radiology, Ohio State University Medical Center. Joel R. Shoring, General Surgery, IU School of Medicine. Elizabeth Ann Schueth, Transitional Year, University of Texas at Austin, Dell Medical School followed by Anesthesiology, Brigham and Women's Hospital, Massachusetts. Catherine Elizabeth Schultz, Obstetrics and Gynecology, Loyola University Medical Center, Illinois. Sheena Paresh Shaw, Family Medicine, St. Joseph's Regional Medical Center, Indiana. Catherine Shamblin, Family Medicine, Community Health Network, Indiana. Lisa LaJane Shaw, Emergency Medicine, Beaumont Health, Michigan. Amar Shigori, Transitional Year, St. Vincent Hospital Center, Indiana, followed by Ophthalmology, IU School of Medicine. Connor Samudis, Neurology, University of Wisconsin, Hospital and Clinics. Kevin A. Smith, Internal Medicine, IU School of Medicine. Mark Philip Smith, Orthopedic Surgery, IU School of Medicine. Dayton Cote Snyder, Transitional Year, St. Joseph Mercy, Ann Arbor, Michigan, Physical Medicine and Rehabilitation, Emory University School of Medicine, Georgia. Anil Sud, General Surgery, Summa Health, Northeast Ohio Medical University. Jacqueline Marie Spring, Family Medicine. University of California, Riverside, School of Medicine. Holly Staples, Obstetrics and Gynecology, Barnes Jewish Hospital, Missouri. Haley was the recipient of the Janice M. Pascuzzi Award, the Department of Obstetrics and Gynecology Roy Norman Reinhardt Memorial Award, and the Office of Diversity Affairs George H. Rawls Exemplary Scholar Award. Ethan Steele, Transitional Year, St. Vincent Hospital Center, Indiana, followed by Radiation Oncology, University of North Carolina Hospitals. Tyler J. Strain, Emergency Medicine, Western Michigan University, Stryker School of Medicine. Maria Aline Strobel, Pediatrics, Vanderbilt University Medical Center. Thomas Matthew Strobel, Internal Medicine Pediatrics, Vanderbilt University Medical Center. Ariel Celeste Sturgill, Internal Medicine Pediatrics, Prisma Health Upstate, University of South Carolina School of Medicine, Greenville. Julie Faye Sturm, Transitional Year, IU School of Medicine. Courtney Lyon Sullivan, Pediatrics, Vanderbilt University Medical Center. Thomas James Svendra, Anesthesiology, Vanderbilt University Medical Center. Marlene Lee Tai, Psychiatry, University of Washington Affiliated Hospitals. 
Marlene was a recipient of the Department of Psychiatry Patricia H. Sharpley Award. Joyce Marie Tam, Pediatrics. Spectrum Health at Michigan State University. Leticia Chate, Family Medicine, Community Health Network, Indiana. Daniela Grace Tejalo, Neurology, University of Miami, Jackson Health System, Florida. Cynthia Elizabeth Tetro, Obstetrics and Gynecology, St. Joseph Mercy, Ann Arbor, Michigan. Mary Thomas, Internal Medicine, University of Tennessee Health Science Center, Memphis. Patrick Tiffany, Pediatrics, University of Colorado School of Medicine, Denver. Monica Tillmans, Transitional Year, IU School of Medicine, followed by Anesthesiology, IU School of Medicine. Sumit Tour, Neurology, IU School of Medicine. Danuka Ubayasena, Transitional Year, Mercy Health, Grand Rapids, Michigan. Anesthesiology, Northwestern McGaw, Northwestern Medical Health, Veteran Affairs, Illinois. Lauren Van Buren, Internal Medicine, Barnes-Jewish Hospital, Missouri. Christopher John Vance, Pediatrics, Loma Linda University, California. Stephanie Vandaloon, Emergency Medicine, Naval Medical Center. Stephanie was a recipient of the class of 1985 and Todd B. Taylor Leadership Award and the recipient of the Dean's Award. Ruben Vasquez, Urology, Indiana University School of Medicine. Andrew Nelson Vega, Orthopedic Surgery, University of Southern California. Carlos A. Vega, Internal Medicine, St. Vincent Hospital Center, Indiana, followed by Anesthesiology, University of Chicago Medical Center. David Josue Vega, Emergency Medicine, University of Miami, Jackson Health System, Florida. Ben Vickery, Anesthesiology, Medical College of Wisconsin, Affiliated Hospitals. Ben was also the recipient of the Student Excellence in Anesthesia Award. Pia Maria Sini Vertanen, Neurological Surgery, IU School of Medicine. Pia Maria was also the recipient of the Julius M. Goodman Scholarship in the Department of Surgery, Dr. and Mrs. John N. Pittman Surgery Award. Joshua Gerard Vollmer, Internal Medicine, St. Vincent Hospital Center, Indiana, followed by Anesthesiology, Indiana University School of Medicine. Daniel John Wagner, Orthopedic Surgery, Ohio State University Medical Center. Caitlin Lindsay Waldrop, General Surgery, University of Texas, Southwestern Medical School, Dallas. Camila Elizabeth Jordan Walters, Emergency Medicine, Ohio State University Medical Center. Madeline Lee Weber, Pediatrics, Cincinnati Children's Hospital Medical Center. Eric Robert Wiedenbenner, Emergency Medicine, Medical College of Wisconsin, Affiliated Hospitals. Jacob Conrad Weinsappel, Internal Medicine, IU School of Medicine. Michael 
Evan Wiesman, transitional year, IU School of Medicine, followed by Radiation Oncology, IU School of Medicine. Joseph Wendt, Pediatrics, Naval Medical Center. Chelsea Diane Buenos, General Surgery, University of Nebraska Medical Center. Jamaica Westfall Snyder, General Surgery, Geisinger Health System, Pennsylvania. Darla Ann Wheeler, Neurology, Spectrum Health, Michigan State University. Maddie White, Internal Medicine, Cleveland Clinic Foundation, Ohio. Darcy Melinda White, Pediatrics, Johns Hopkins, All Children's Hospital, Florida. Darcy was a recipient of the Department of Pediatrics, Lyman T. Meeks Research Award. Joseph Michael Whitmore, Anesthesiology, University of Louisville School of Medicine, Kentucky. Noelle Marie Whitwer, Physical Medicine and Rehabilitation, Loma Linda University, California. Aston Rachel Warden, Internal Medicine, IU School of Medicine. Aston was a recipient of the American Medical Women's Association Glasgow Rubin Award and the outstanding performance in the medicine sub-internship. Gerald J. Wu, Plastic Surgery Integrated Program, IU School of Medicine. Gerald was the recipient of the Department of Surgery, Dr. and Mrs. John N. Pittman Surgery Award. Patrick Donald Worcester, Transitional Year, IU School of Medicine, followed by Ophthalmology, IU School of Medicine. Ani Yala Manchali, Internal Medicine, Cleveland Clinic Foundation, Ohio. Elliot Yi, General Surgery, University of Colorado School of Medicine, Denver. Audrey Diane York, Internal Medicine, University of Utah Health. Audrey was the recipient of the American Medical Women's Association Glasgow Rubin Award. Joycelyn Cole Young, Emergency Medicine, Naval Medical Center. Jeffrey Yu, Pediatrics and Anesthesiology Programs, Stanford University, California. Richard Sharon Yu, Internal Medicine, University of Nevada, Reno, School of Medicine. Evan Zare, Internal Medicine, University of Colorado School of Medicine, Denver. Aaron Simon Zalikovich, Neurology, New York Presbyterian Hospital, Weill Cornell Medical Center, New York. This concludes our Doctor of Medicine graduates. Congratulations, students. And now we come to recognition of our military graduates, a truly outstanding group who have made a commitment of service to our country. Upon graduation, these doctors are commissioned as either a captain in the Army or as a lieutenant in the Navy. These officers will enter residency training and will follow with military medical service. We are extremely proud of our military graduates. Thank you for your service to our country. Our graduates being commissioned as a captain in the United States Army include Captain Elliot Dano, Captain Christine Doherty, Captain Kyle Hardwick, Captain Angel Jones, Captain Tom Kotnick, and Captain Brandon Myers. Our graduates being commissioned as lieutenants in the United States Navy include Lieutenant Carlton Collins, Lieutenant Dylan Fisher, Lieutenant Emily Larson, Lieutenant Stephanie Vandaloon, 
Lieutenant Joseph Went, and Lieutenant Jocelyn Young. A physician oath has been part of the profession of medicine for millennia, but their use became much more prevalent after World War II. The Declaration of Geneva of the World Health Organization was first developed in 1948 and has been modified several times since then. Based originally on principles of the Hippocratic Oath, the version used by our school was last modified in 2017. Will the Doctor of Medicine graduates and all physicians present Please stand and join me in reciting the physician's oath. The oath is located at the end of your digital program and on this slide. If you would please recite it with me. As a member of the medical profession, I solemnly pledge to dedicate my life to the service of humanity. The health and well being of my patient will be my first consideration. I will respect the autonomy and dignity of my patient. I will maintain the utmost respect for human life. I will not permit considerations of age, disease, or disability, creed, ethnic origin, gender nationality, political affiliation, race, sexual orientation, social standing, or any other factor to intervene between my duty and my patient. I will respect the secrets that are confided in me even after the patient has died. I will practice my profession with conscience and dignity and in accordance with good medical practice. I will foster the honor and noble traditions of the medical profession. I will give to my teachers, colleagues, and students the respect and gratitude that is their due. I will share my medical knowledge for the benefit of the patient and the advancement of healthcare. I will attend to my own health, well-being, and abilities in order to provide care of the highest standard. I will not use my medical knowledge to violate human rights and civil liberties, even under threat. I make these promises solemnly, freely, and upon my honor. All graduates, Will you please stand? At this time, please move your tassels to the left. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the Indiana University School of Medicine Class of 2020. Thank you, Dean Hess. I now invite Dr. Michael Ajay from the Medical Student Class of 2020 to make comments on behalf of the class. Dr. Ajay will begin his residency in anesthesiology at IU School of Medicine. Good morning and congratulations to the class of 2020. My name is Michael Ajay and I'm honored to be standing here today and I'm so grateful to my classmates for nominating me to speak on this memorable occasion. To our deans, the board of trustees, the faculty, support staff, distinguished guests, families, and friends. On behalf of my classmates, I want to say thank you for the unconditional support you've shown us throughout our medical school journey, and I hope you are staying well. I was born and raised in a small town in Ghana, West Africa. I migrated to this country about 10 years ago to pursue my dream of becoming a doctor. I attended VCU in Richmond, Virginia, for college, then moved to Indiana to enroll in a Master's of Science in Medical Sciences program before matriculating into the MD program here at IU School of Medicine. 
I was born and raised in a small town in Ghana, West Africa. I migrated to this country about 10 years ago to pursue my dream of becoming a doctor. I attended VCU in Richmond, Virginia for college, then moved to Indiana to enroll in a Master's of Science in Medical Sciences program before matriculating into the MD program here at IE School of Medicine. Indiana is now like a second home to me, so I'm very excited to be staying here at IU to do my residency in anesthesia. Each year around this time, students across the country come together, joined by their families and friends, to celebrate their sensational accomplishments. But this year is different. We, the class of 2020, are met at an inflection point, an unprecedented time in history where a pandemic has brought upon us a lot of uncertainty. Some of us wonder what impact this pandemic will have on our residency training. We are worried about the safety and health of others around the world and even our own safety. But no matter what uncertainties we may be feeling right now, I want to remind you all that we have been trained at one of the finest medical schools in the country, and we are well prepared to meet the challenges of the future. At this time, I want to thank our courageous classmates who have chosen to graduate early and have answered an urgent call to the front lines of the coronavirus battle. I also want to thank our brave healthcare heroes and first responders across the country. But regardless of the current circumstances, class of 2020, we made it. I'm proud today to be a member of this talented group of young doctors who will have tremendous impact on their communities in the years to come. Even though we come from diverse backgrounds with unique stories and beliefs, we share a common goal of becoming great doctors. We work together as a class. We supported and encouraged one another in the good times and in the tough times. We are the trailblazers of the new curriculum, one that we help shape to ensure that it best serves the purpose of training competent and compassionate physicians. Some of us took on leadership roles to help make our medical education experience even better for our class and for the classes that will come after us. Many of us serve our communities by volunteering countless hours at student outreach clinics to help improve the health of the underserved and homeless populations across the state. The EMPAT program gave some of us the opportunity to travel and to work to improve the healthcare delivery alongside the people of Kenya. Outside our clinical duties, we shared many wonderful moments together. Moments such as the second year show, the evening of the arts, that helped showcase our hidden talents. We also had St. Vitus, the mannequin challenge, attending basketball games together, and even celebrating exam successes at Tiki Babs. I miss my classmates today, and even though we cannot celebrate together as a class, I encourage every one of you to celebrate in whatever way possible. And as we celebrate today, let us not forget about those we've lost along the way. Our dear friend and classmate, Andrew Bohosani, and the Associate Dean for Diversity Affairs, Dr. Mary Ostrom. Andrew was a very energetic, passionate, and hardworking student who would have been an amazing physician to and help change the world. Dr. Ostrom devoted her life to improving diversity and inclusion here at I School of Medicine. Neither are with us today, but we know that their spirits and the lessons that we've learned from them will live on in many of us. My journey through medical school wasn't a smooth path. It was scattered with uncertainties and roadblocks. Despite my hard work, I had many challenges. And even there were times where I doubted myself. 
but I remain resilient and hopeful. I continue to work harder and with the extraordinary help of my faculty and mentors, and by the grace of God, I made it. To my family, especially my mom, I'm so grateful for all the sacrifices you've made to help me realize my dream. I know my classmates have their own stories of determination and resiliency, and I cannot be prouder of what we have all achieved. But we should also understand that becoming a physician does not end at graduation. There is more work to be done. I want to share with you a story from my fourth year anesthesia elective. One morning, a patient came in for surgery. And as I walked into her exam room, I could sense her anxiety and panic. After my pre op assessment, I asked if she had any questions for me. So she asked, how long have you been doing anesthesia for? Because my life is in your hands. I paused for a few seconds to process the question, recognizing the enormous responsibility that's embedded within the question. I responded to her and said, I'm just a student who is still learning, but my residents and my attending have a lot of experience in this field, and they will be taking great care of you during your surgery. I stand here today knowing that I'm no longer just a student and patients' lives will indeed be in my hands, on our hands. Therefore, we owe to them our very best medical care, including treating them with respect, compassion, and dignity. It is such an honor to be a physician where patients entrust us with their lives, but it also comes with a lot of responsibility because our decisions ultimately impact not only our patients' lives, but that of their families too. No matter what doubts we may be feeling right now, as we look towards our residences and beyond, we should understand that our education has equipped us with the necessary medical knowledge, the skills, the network of colleagues and friends to help shape the future of medicine. No doubt this current pandemic will be an unusual and sometimes grim start to our medical careers. So I encourage you to seek help when needed. We must take care of our own mental well-being in order to continue to take care of others. This time more than ever, the world depends on us as new doctors to help improve the health of the patients in our care. No matter where each of us goes from here, let us continue to work harder, make a difference in our communities, and inspire the next generation. Let us continue to work together and help diversify our physician workforce and help eliminate health disparities. Let us join the fight to ensure equal access to health care for all humanity. Class of 2020, the world is waiting for us, and I cannot wait to hear about the great things that our class will be doing to serve and care for our communities. Congratulations once again, and thank you very much. Thank you, Dr. Ajay. I now invite Dr. Tripti Shetty from the PhD class of 2020 to share a few remarks. Good morning to everyone tuning in. Welcome to all the 2020 graduates, their friends and family, IUSM faculty and staff, and for the very first time for commencement ceremonies everywhere, Welcome to our furry friends who may be joining us today. This is a great honor to speak on behalf of my fellow graduates and represent our wonderful research community. Although it seems unfair to accept accolades without expressing gratitude to each and every individual who made this possible. Let's, so let me begin by thanking them. We owe our success to our lab mates who become family after a point. Sometimes we spend holidays and even birthdays with them. We owe a huge debt of gratitude to our research admin staff, the unsung heroes who have made sure every qualifying exam, every committee meeting, and every seminar goes on smoothly. To the IUSM faculty who keep open door policies and give us endless feedback and edits to every documents we throw their way. We all got by with a little help from our friends. 
Being a full-time research student is not easy. Failed experiments become a natural part of your life. Sometimes we are left heartbroken because it means abandoning months of preparation and long hours for our experiments. Other times, you just shrug your shoulders, put on those lab coats, and do it all over again. We face different obstacles as PhD candidates. Some have different outcomes compared to each other. Some might get multiple papers published, while others might just do some science outreach. But I think all research graduates, regardless of their journey, have one thing in common, and that's resilience. They never fail to show up, even after multiple rejections, criticism, and failed experiments. All our progress in research, from the first images of the black hole to the recent COVID-19 case trackers, they've all been made possible because of resilient graduate students. Six years ago, as I sat in my room in my parents' apartment, in the suburbs of Bombay, I was applying to grad, schools, grad school programs in the US. I oftentimes wondered if I would even hear back from any of these schools. From my vantage point, it seemed unreal and highly ambitious to get accepted by an American university on a PhD fellowship. So speaking to all of you today as a graduate definitely feels surreal. Many of my peers back home and in other countries weren't as fortunate though, not because they weren't talented, some faced gender discrimination, others financial hardships to even make a decent grad school application. Today, I want to dedicate all my achievements to those deserving students who didn't get this opportunity. While we may lack resources, we do not lack talent. I think I speak for international graduate students everywhere that when we landed in this country with our acceptance letters, we landed with a dream to become part of the scientific dogma and to make our families proud. Since the time I landed, I faced absurd questions. Someone wanted to know why I didn't have two R's and two T's and three I's in my name. Another asked me why I spoke English so well. Some were downright hilarious, from what my favorite curry was to how I had even heard of Elton John. I realized early on the importance of communication when I had to frequently explain everyone that my life didn't adhere to the cultural stereotypes about my country. Indeed, I was raised in a patriarchal society that never cared for women's opinion, let, let alone allow them to speak. And for that reason, today, it feels like I'm breaking yet another stereotype. As I progressed through my early PhD, I realized even though we've been advancing at a significant pace, science communication often gets overlooked. From anti-vax movements to climate change deniers, from flat earth conspiracy theorists to spiritual gurus twisting scientific facts in my own home country, science communication still has a long way to go. I learned the importance of storytelling through science communication. Standing next to my poster at a conference and showing off my research findings all I wanted was fine. But until I found a way to connect with my audience, I was never going to leave them impressed. It was through the art of communicating science that I realized what a scientist and the audience have in common is emotion. To build on empathy is the greatest tool as scientists, let's not forget. I was taught a simple principle in my courses, make your scene partner look good. I could have gone on about my thesis research about eye diseases, but I think what one might come away remembering from those moments would be the stories I shared behind those research findings. We are all experts in our respective fields, and it is incumbent upon us to make our audiences feel equal and empowered, and not inferior through the use of big, confusing, and technical words. This brings me to an important question that remains at the center of my scientific philosophy. What is the responsibility of a scientist to the general public? Shouldn't we be keen, if not excited, to let others in on our science, which is made possible in part by taxpayer funding? If you think about it, communicating science advocates for the betterment of the whole society. If the public is well informed, they make more informed choices, elect better informed government representatives, which in turn leads to more funding for scientists that can then be used to give better pay to our working staff, so on and so forth. 
If this doesn't make practicing good science communication more appealing to researchers, then perhaps you might consider engaging with the public for the benefit of research funding. So if I can leave you all with one challenge today, that would be, how are you, as a science and a health professional, going to bridge the gap between science and the public as a communicator? I was fortunate enough to meet such talented communicators right here at IU. Perhaps you could consider that next time you give a talk or you could support a local nonprofit in science outreach. With that, I thank you all for your attention. Let's hope we all make it safe and sound through this. And congratulations, class of 2020. Class of 2020, please accept my very best wishes for a life filled with purpose, humility, meaning, fulfillment, and the sense of making a personal positive difference in the lives of others every day. As we approach the conclusion of the ceremony, I would like to share a few closing thoughts. As a community of scholars and learners, faculty and students, we arrive at this day together with great pride. Although the next few months may be uncertain, we are confident that you are well prepared to go into your communities as leaders and healers as graduates of IU School of Medicine. As you move on to the next phase of your life and your career, I ask you to commit yourselves to the highest professional and ethical standards, to render to each person the dignity that is rightfully theirs, to be compassionate to those in need, and to remember with pride the Indiana University School of Medicine, as we proudly will remember you. Congratulations on becoming a physician. It is not easy, and you have every reason to be proud of what you have accomplished. I would like to thank all of you for the help you provided as we transitioned four short years ago to a new curriculum. Your efforts made it a better experience for those who have followed. You know, four years ago, when you assembled on the staircase for the very first time as a class, some of you were afraid you wouldn't make it, but you have made it. Congratulations on your degree of Doctor of Medicine. Our virtual greetings can't replace the handshakes, hugs, or smiles that we'd hope to share with you today, but we will have that opportunity soon. Doctors of the Class of 2020, we are so excited to celebrate with you a moment that marks your transition from medical students to physicians. You are prepared, you are adaptable, you are generous, you are kind. You are ready. We are so lucky to have you join our profession, and we can't wait to see the contributions you'll make. We wish you the best of luck. We enjoyed walking along your journey, and we are so excited for what the world holds for you in your future careers. We are very proud to call you doctor, and we look forward to working with you as future colleagues. Congratulations. Congratulations, class of 2020. We're so excited for all that you've accomplished in your four years here at IU and look forward to all that you will be doing in the future in your career. Know that we're always here for you and want to celebrate with you on this beautiful day. Thank you. Congratulations, class of 2020. I'm so excited for you guys as you embark on the next step of your medical education journey. We know you're ready. We're so proud of you. So enjoy, celebrate. You made it and get excited for all the amazing things that are ahead of you. Congratulations, class of 2020. On behalf of Medical Student Education, I can't tell you how proud we are and honored to have been part of your journey through your medical training. We're looking for big things out of you and we know that you're capable. You've contributed a lot back to one another as well as to our school. Thank you for all your contributions now and in the future. Go get them.